every day almost. Do you have to clean chicken coops every other day? Well, what does that mean anyway? Cleaning a chicken coop, cleaning what? their poop. So you have discipline in. Cr- you know. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you know giving up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about you. I ain't never so let me break, 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 break it all down for you. I ain't never giving up. I ain't never you giving up. Take, take, taking that crown from you. I Welcome to a new episode of Breaking the Cycle Podcast. Let's get into it today, folks. Our three viewers, our two dogs, and our mother. Today we are going to be going. We are going to be starting a new series called Decaf, which is an acronym for five different words. And we're going to and we're going to be going over five different episodes discussing which. Each word means to us, and today we're going to be going over D, which is discipline. What does DCAP stand for? What's it, what's it all stand for, real quick? Discipline, energy, confidence, action, freak. Freak. So today what's we're doing... Favorite um, one. Today we're doing what? Today we're doing discipline. Discipline. The D of DCAP. All right, let's, let's do it. Let's jump into it. Breaking the Cycle is a podcast on how to be a positive male role model and lead your freak family by changing by changing the trajectory of your family tree so that you become the type of man your son would want to become and the type of man your daughter would one day want to marry. These are the types of conversations you should be having with your kids so that they can learn to think for themselves and are not to, afraid to be themselves. So when they are eventually are confronted with these life situations, they are not mind blown. They are not in shock. And I have an idea on how to approach it. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. Let's start off with the starting joke. Oh, God. I gave up on those. The AI lost does not have much i left the jokes it gave was horrible i was trying to find jokes on discipline it was like they were so stupid discipline jokes like i don't know i thought they were it's ai i figured i could come up with something it was so dumb it was so dumb all right what's as i don't know artificial no artificial stupid is that what you're saying no the second one artificial stupid no no no, the second one second word that i the, say an S word that I'm not allowed to Artificial say. shit? Yeah. Jeez. What? <laughs> what are the strongest days of the week? Strongest days of the week. I should. Uh, let's think. Let me think. Oh, oh. It's Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Oh, I could just say Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And at some point, I gave you the answer because I said all the days of the week. Technically, I gave the answer. But no, one, let me get a real answer. Get your finger away from that button, girl, because I know you're trying to make it, give me the buzzer for missing it out. Uh, and I don't know. On. <laughs> messed up. That is messed up. Gary, right, give me a hint. Quick, give me a hint. We got to keep things rolling here. There's, there's two different types. You know how there's like two different types of sections of the week? Two different types we- of days. Weekends and weekdays. Yeah. So weekend. Continue. Weekend. No, continue. I don't know what. All right. Saturday and Sunday, the others are weekdays. Technically, I said that. I said, no. I said weekends, and I said, I said all the Monday, days of the week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, exactly. Saturday, Sunday. All right, no points for me. I'm a failure. I'm a failure to my family. Zero. All right, so let's get into this one. Let, let's start off. Midge, what does discipline mean to you? What is just your discipline? What do you think of? Discipline means to do all the things you need to do. So when you want to like buy something or do something fun, you like trust yourself because you hold know hold you're going to do what you need to do. Sorry to interrupt freedom. you and all. Sorry to interrupt you and all. Yes. But what the hell does shopping have to do with discipline? You said you said discipline has to do something. Something so you want to buy something. What does Jocko say, Tyson? You read Jocko's books. He says, Jocko, Jocko Willing says, discipline equals freedom. And Midge says. By the way, we are not sponsored by Jocko Willing, but although we would like to be. And and Midge says, discipline equals. How could you speak? Mid, and Midge says, discipline, discipline equals, equals shopping. shopping. How does discipline turn to shopping? I'm confused. You've been hanging around your mother too much, haven't you? Well, she's my mother. 
Are you gonna get? Are you gonna get all the all the goops and the and the high heel Ew. high heels and dressings dresses and all the goops and makeup that she gets? Ew. No. Are you gonna wear Midge when you get older? You know, are you gonna wear? Are you into like all that stuff? I don't even know. Are you into like the high heels and dresses and makeup? Are you ever gonna wear makeup? No. I don't know. Oh, there's a chance. Then you said I don't know. You're starting. To, you're cracking. Cracking like an egg. All right. So. Discipline, Tyson, what's discipline to you? But I'm not let's keep, fat, so I'm not the yoke. Let's keep rolling. All right, so discipline, what's it to you? So discipline to me means having like some sort of freedom, whether it's physically, me- emotionally, mentally, like some sort of freedom that you get from doing things that you're not told to, t- like, told to do and staying on top of things, having a checklist that everything gets done on and just being disciplined emotionally, mentally, physically, and faithfully. When you were saying staying on top of things, before you said on top of things, when you said staying, I thought you were about to say staying up late. <laughs> staying up late is discipline. And also... Technically, th- when we get to some... mind, You know what's crazy? Or is that... No, that's next one. Sorry. I'm wrong. Never mind. Also, Ener- energy is the next one. I have... St- my energy... All of my energy, like personal examples and could stories... Could be discipline too? No. Well, it can be. Actually, yeah, that's true too. It has to do with staying up late. Like all of them. It's freaking nuts. Same with, same with me. Energy basically means, and we're going to get that next episode, not even this one, but it made me think of it. Energy means staying up late. Technically, all of my stories have no sleep. Well, that's it's crazy. Not the all right. Only thing that energy is. And wait, hold on. Before we continue, I searched up the Google definition of what does it mean to, to be like a disciplined person. And it said, discipline is the quality of being able to behave and work in a controlled way, which involves obeying particular particular rules or standards it was that image of calm control and discipline that appealed to millions of voters that's just what its answer said like when it makes an example it gives you a way to use the word like an example of the word all right so this one miss give me a story a personal story of yours that has to do that's a microphone not a snow cone Something that has to do with discipline. You have any? Yeah. You have any story of discipline of yourself? A personal story? Surprisingly, actually, yes. Surprisingly, actually, actually, yes. What do so, you mean surprisingly? You are known for your impeccable discipline yes. in all areas of life. That that deserved a something. I don't. Know. I don't know which ones are which. Miz knows all the ones. I know. I don't. All right, let's go. So, what's your story of discipline? What's your story of discipline? That could be. What's your Got story it. of discipline? So, my story of discipline. We have this neighbor. Not saying any names because you know we don't say names. But on that, the what's show. the point if, saying not saying any names anyway? Because it's not like a you're not snitching on something. But all right, but yeah, so neighbor. Not saying any names. Neighbor. So she has a chicken coop in her backyard, and basically for like almost two or three months. I was going there almost every other day to go there, clean her chicken coop, let the chickens out, feed them, give them water, you know. So you're going there every day almost. Do you have to clean chicken coops every other day? Well. What does that mean anyway, cleaning a chicken coop? Cleaning their poop. So you have discipline in crap. Crap removal. (laughs) And you enjoyed that? Well, I didn't enjoy that part, but I enjoyed being with the chickens. But hold on, hold on. You, you hesitated. You hesitated yeah, yeah. on that I answer. I liked being with her. I liked being like with the chickens, and I liked helping our neighbor. Like helping her. Which meant, which meant cleaning up chicken crap. And and so, or in but other here's words, the part that really gets me. What is your? What's cleaner, the chicken coop or your bedroom? <sighs> That's a hard one. That is sad that it's a hard question. So you go and clean shit out of a chicken coop, but not even your own dresser. That's what you're yes. telling me. And you enjoy it. All right. Now, uh-huh. If only we could do the, that same discipline up in the bedroom, we will be. Can we get a uh, deal on that? Oh, wow. You actually made the deal. Many, you did it, many you deals did it on have camera. Been, many deals have been made on camera. No and- one's on camera. That's like a contract. You yeah. Are. A couple episodes ago. We said we were going to get some chickens of our own, and that's to be continued. No, we said chickens by February. Oh, we did? It's, I don't even remember that. All right. Yeah, we did. All right, so all right, so that's a quick one of yours. You, chickens, you, yeah. you, And if you don't go take care of those chickens, is that also feeding them, or is that just cleaning up after them? Do they have food? Like, how do you feed chickens? So you could... What happens if you don't 
do what you did? Would they die? Would they get sick? Would they be miserable? Would they be uncomfortable? What happens if you just left chickens in a coop for a month? What would happen? There's this thing called bumblefoot that chickens can get. So if they're walking in their own poop... And oh, all right. Stuff, enough, enough, all right. It's nasty. They all right. can get infected. If you don't feed them, they'll just get food deprived. And, Obviously. Yeah. yeah, and once you give them food, then they're going to eat all of it up and they're going to use up your own supply. So how often do you get... So they won't keep food there. If it's there, they're going to eat it all. Well, only if they're deprived from it. And then they're walking around their own shit and they get... What's it called? Bumblefoot. So if Is that actually Bumblefoot? the name? Bumblefoot? Yeah. I've never heard of Bumblefoot. That is... So you're actually helping them, keeping them healthy and, and taking care of them. That's that's pretty cool. All right, Tyson, give me an example of your own discipline. So an example of my own discipline is a little bit over a year and a half ago, you and me, we decided that we were going to train for a year straight without taking any days off. So last year in January 2022... We decided that we were going to just train for 365 days straight, no rest days, none of the workouts are the same, and we finished the year, all 365 days, and we just kept going, and today we have done 613 days of working out straight, no rest days, and Jeez. none of the workouts are the same. And when do you plan on breaking that streak? Either when, probably when I die. Oh, Wow. Unless he gets like a hernia and he's injured or something. But then remember you said you got a hernia and you were doing like I'll that. still be working out. I have, a, I have to get a hernia surgery coming up in a couple months. I'll still be working out every freaking Wait, day. Do you have a hernia? Yeah. Yes, he's had one for like... For like a month and a half. I knew that you... But it's an actual hernia? I knew Yes. That. Oh my God. No, it's, it's not a fake. What is an inactual one? No, but I mean like... It, you like, have to speak. I mean like not an inactual one. Look, the microphone is there. If you look over here, no longer the microphone, or here is nothing. Here, right here. Look, see how the difference that sounds. See that voice of mine. Yes. All right, let's keep rolling. Let's keep rolling. Let's keep keep this yeah, thing yeah, flowing. Hernia, rolling. yes, still work out. All right. Surprisingly enough, all right. I have several stories. I'm going to choose this one. Kind of is discipline to me. It's discipline, and we could talk about. There's a story I tell about shoes in the house. There's stories about discipline. I talk about like these. Uh, ass clients that we've had in the gym that caused trouble. We're not even going to talk about those. I'm going to choose this one because it's actually kind of connected to midges. Shoes? No, shit. <laughs> so Tyson's is the only one that's the boring one that doesn't include crap. Mine actually is very, very... So I guess mine was boring. Yes. Boo! Can, you get, can we get us a boo for him or something? <laughs> that does not... Well, your not story doesn't that. involve crap. Dis yeah, that's a shame. Everyone. Mine is listen, the best story, though. Listen, energy, we've established energy has to do with not staying up late. Okay, and I have done that one. Discipline now has to do with crap. Think about it, not crapping yourself. That's a discipline. No, since but discipline here it is. equals here it is. shopping and crap, then shopping God. for crap. Got this, it. This show has gone completely downhill. I can't imagine why we have no followers or whatever they're called. All right, so mine is followers. when we first got the RV... We went on an RV trip. Our very first RV trip, we were going to Texas, and we weren't even there yet. And, well, first... We were in New Mexico, by the way. Well, oh. I, well I crashed the roof of the, the thing after my this incident. First, I'm going to talk about this. We're not saying where. I, cra I crashed the roof of the thing a week after we bought it and trashed it, like $20,000 worth of damage. And then... Well, that's discipline right there. Think about it. Cra you just bought an RV. It's expensive freaking thing. Your first trip going in the RV and you crash and crush in the whole roof of it. Most people would freak the hell out. All I did is kind of brushed off the dirt, laughed it off. Wait, we actually, there was a some, gas station right in front of there and we bought a broomstick and some and a tarp. Well, we had, no, I had tarp already. I had tarp and duct oh, tape. Oh yeah, we already had tarp. We had tarp and, du and duct tape. And remember how there was like a tape. huge storm coming our way too. There was a huge storm coming our way so we could have freaked out. We could have just said, all right, we're turning around. We're just going home. We still stayed on the road another like 10 days after that. That was just the beginning of the trip. So we still stayed on the road and didn't ruin the whole trip. That's discipline to be, hold the line, not crumble under the pressure. Oh, so you crushed. a It's a chunk of metal on wheels. It's a freaking RV. No one died. No one is injured. No one is sick. Everyone is healthy. We put some tarp on there and duct taped it and kept going. But that's not my story. Just made me think of it. But that is discipline <sighs> also. 
the day before that at our first checkpoint ever our first stop ever Yay. that we are hooking up the rv you're gonna get the electrical and it was so hot outside and we're gonna get nice air conditioning AC. and you know the rv has a shower has a bathroom we don't know jack shit about rv all we did is watch a few videos on youtube of some some chunky dude that would skip around the thing and go and tell you about the rvs so we didn't know how to do anything we had to do change out the tanks. If the any, epic moment is coming. If any listeners out there know what a black tank is in an RV, Mitch, tell us what a black tank is in the RV, since you're the expert in this field, apparently. That's where all the crap is stored. Oh, my God. So there's a 27, is it 27 or 31 gallon? I'm pretty sure it's either 27 or 31. I understand that. I asked <laughs> you, is it 27 or 31? And the expert comes in with, it's either 27 or 31. So this is a 27. I think it's 31. It's a 27 or 31 gallon tank that when you flush the toilet bowl all your water and waste and crap goes into this tank now apparently like when you release the valve or whatever that you put the plug in blah 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 nothing's supposed to come out until you hit the release our release apparently was defective when we bought it because the second you opened up the thing 27 gallons of our family's shit water Poured all over me, like forcefully, exploded all over me. Like, have you seen that movie? What was the movie? I don't know. We watched it right after it, and it happened the exact same oh, thing oh, happened. Oh, oh. And he crashed the RV too in the same thing. I think it was called RV. Oh, yeah, it was called RV. <laughs> that was a hard one to remember. The black tank, all the shit water splashed all over me on our very first time ever pulling into a station. Now, this was all over the ground where we have to stay for the next day and for the night. And we were like, let's not tell anybody. Yeah, it wasn't dry up overnight. It wasn't hard for them to you just snitched on us, first of all. I don't think I don't think we, we can never, have you on the show anymore. I know. I think snitches end up in ditches. I think we're done. We will never be allowed just, back in that park. I think we actually went back to that park next time we the went. Tyson to Eckert that area. and Steve Eckert show. So that's discipline. To have all that on you and all I did is laughed it off. Shrug it off. Cleaned up, cleaned myself up a bit and Figured out what I did wrong. Went on Amazon. We actually went on Amazon right then and ordered a part for them to send it to a 7-Eleven. 7-Eleven has these lockers to get this extra safety valve that we kept on it. So we went and got the thing fixed, but then we added an extra layer of security to make sure that that never happens again. So we have two layers of against that happening. That to me is discipline, to not freak out. Like to me, discipline is controlling yourself, not freaking out. Emotionally. Under the, under the pressure or when shit doesn't go your way or when you have... Two little kids that are causing technical difficulties to record an episode. I wonder who. of a podcast. Mm-hmm. All right. So that was my story for discipline. And so that's pretty freaking weird that two of the three stories for discipline involve crap. I thought that was yeah. an interesting little fact. You guys have any other any other stories on discipline? Yeah, I have a, a No, I, wait, before we do that, let's let's switch gears for a second. Yes. Wait, first, who wants a joke? Oh God. I didn't do very well in the first one. I kind of had the. I want to. I'm going to Johnny Cochran that first joke, and, and we're going to take that it's one. It's too court. late. It's too late. The button was clicked. You failed. Oof, that was harsh. All right, what we got? Why do bees have sticky hair? Oh my god. Why do bees have sticky hair? Is that what you said? Can you say it one more time? Clear, because you're you were a little off center on the microphone. Stalker, get your lips stalker? off the microphone. Stalker. <laughs> do you know what? you're a stalker? Stalkers like oh, someone that's peeking through your no, windows no, no, no. or following you, around, following you around town. Stalkers like those creeps in the white vans that are trying to snatch up little kids. You just call me a stalker. Staller. Staller. Jeez. All right. Say so now I'm all confused. I'm thinking about the dude in the white van that is, is like following you around. Staller. All right. What's the, say it one more time. Why do Slow. Bees- slow. Because you look, you're not like centered on the microphone. I can't hear you clearly. What is it? Why do bees have sticky hair? I think this is the cheesiest joke Jeez. that's ever been on the channel. Glue. Where's the countdown? Where's the countdown? Glue, yeah. honey, bee, bee, sticky, goo. Anything? Am I out to anything? Honey, bee, combs, home, combs, honeycomb. Yes. Ding, ding, ding. I really wanted to click the button. I didn't even know that's an answer. I was just throwing words out there. That's the answer. Honey I don't even get it. Because sticky. Comb. Oh, hair, honeycomb. Honey so I got it right I didn't, on accident. I was just throwing words out there and the word happened to be an answer. I, I didn't even understand why this that was the answer. This next one, you will never get it. You're not. Smart. All right, so let's shift gears on that discipline, discipline for a section, second. Let's go on the flip side. What is an area? I'm going to start with you, Tyson. You don't know 
some, you don't know these questions. You knew we were talking about discipline. You knew to probably have some stories out, but you didn't know this question was going. What's an area that I don't have discipline that you need right now better discipline in or that you lack oh, discipline or that you want discipline better yourself or a new discipline that you want to work on for you personally? Exactly. And while he's doing this, you better start thinking for you. you better be listening to his, but thinking about your own. Procrastination. I could, I realized for the past couple weeks that I just... You didn't procrastinate on that answer. You knew that one real quick. I just push things off. Yeah, like the hook for this freaking show that we need to get done. You wait, that we have two weeks to get the hook in and it gets get to them the night before. Gets to who? The team to get edited. Not so any name. procrastination, that is actually a good one where you need more discipline in what so what, what does that mean you need more discipline in what in- staying on top of things and getting things done when they're supposed to happen so your problem is you know you know why certain procrastination people you you know why you procrastinate why well it's because you have you don't pay it like you could have a better attention to detail you could say all that stuff whatever it's you just know like, all right, I'll just, you know, you could handle it the last second under pressure, but then that makes it not fair to the other people that are waiting on yeah. that stuff to get to you. Cause you know that you'll get it done no matter what. So it's like, take the garbage out right now. Uh, no, I'll just do it in the morning, but you have to work out in the morning. You have to do this and this in the morning. All right, but I'll still, you still know you're going to get it done. So it's like, all right, you have too much. It's almost like an overconfidence in yourself to get so much done and such. So it's like, you could just push it's it, not off, like an ego. push it off, it's push like, it off, push it off. Oh, it's not an ego, ego, but it's like overconfidence. Without the ego. Pretty much. Makes sense to me. All right, Midge, how about you? What is an area where you either lack discipline or you want more discipline? Can I say like a story for when this happened or? Just an area right now that you want more discipline in. Doesn't really, not necessarily a story. Because so I can be very disciplined in working out, but it's hard for me to be consistent with it. I can get a really good streak in, but then sometimes I, I can't do it. And you would work Usually out. Usually the times where I mess up is the days we go to the gym because we're there for like a few hours. And on Wednesdays, like today we record on Wednesdays. After the, you guys go to the gym, today we stayed home though and me and my mom worked out at home. But usually if we go to the gym on Wednesdays, right after us three have our meeting and then we record... So I don't really have time after that because it's usually really late. By then, we're already eating dinner. We're reading and stuff. So forgot our timer again. So so working out. And you know, the thing is, if you worked out, you have the most natural. Well, no point now. We didn't start in the beginning. You, you have the most natural athletic ability. If you worked out, you would run circles around all of us. If you would like we're as disciplined as like we have to. We have no choice to or else we will suck. I'll be a weak, flimsy At little chicken legs. He would be like a a, a, a walking behemoth. SpongeBob. Like we would be, Arteous. we'd have no hope. I'm a behemoth of muscle. So working out, being consistent with your workouts. Why do you think you're not consistent with your workouts? Because I don't have discipline. I know, but why? Like what? There's always some like th- something further behind. It. Like his, I think the reason why he procrastinates because he thinks, oh, it's so easy. I got this. I could just do it whenever and I'll get it done. And then I it falls and then, and then you get, and it always gets done in crunch time with like three or four reminders, but then it gets done. So he has like that overconfidence in a little bit. What do you think is a reason? I don't necessarily like working out. Are you even American? Are you even an Ecker? Okay. Are you even a freak? Okay. The fact that you said, are you even an American? I was confused for a second. Yeah, actually, seventy percent of me, Americans let are. Let me overweight. check what percent of America works out. But uh, I bet it's that's actually a interesting. No statistic. They could because be because we know you know seventy percent. They say seventy percent of Americans are overweight, and then forty percent or something like that are obese. So I wonder what percent work out. I bet you it's lower than that. So people are still overweight, even though they're working. You know what I mean? It's not going to be seventy percent, thirty percent probably not working out. Just what was things along. Okay. So it is hard to probably judge, get the real accurate numbers, but what is it? In say? America, I think in America, it doesn't exactly say. Right, what? It says less than 5% of adults participate in 30 minutes of physical activity each day. Only one in three adults receive the recommended amount of physical activity each week. But how one, what was the first one you said? 5%? Less than 5%. Then how is that one in three? One in three would be 30%. I know. Oh, the recommended. 
who knows, the recommended is probably like sneeze and walk around the block is the recommended. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's I some weird numbers. Calories. All right, let's get back on discipline. So we have some areas that we are going to lack in discipline. So how are you going to commit to to getting more discipline with your procrastination? And how are you going to commit to getting more discipline with your workouts? For me... I, I know it's so much more simpler to say than to get done, but probably pushing off the fun stuff instead and doing things that need to get done then and now. Amazing. You want the reward before you do the work. Get to the work, then reward. Also, me, to make it an actual commitment is probably to say, all right, now I'm going to get something done on time. I'm going to get something done early. Like if I know I have a problem procrastinating or if I'm not getting these hooks in for this for this thing, if I have three episodes, why don't I go get all three done a week ahead of time that we only need one? Now I'm good for like a few weeks. That's how you really overcome it. But then it. Like, the next week you do the next three. But you know what he would do? If he did three, say it was three and we did one every week, he the would next, wait. The next, the next one would be week. horrible. It would never get through. Because see, now he would be so overconfident. Oh, I don't need to do that for a month now. Six weeks. He would never, well, I was said just yeah, make yeah, it easy yeah, math. Yeah, yeah. He would never go near that thing for so long. He would totally forget it even exists. That it's a job. Like, oh my God. But that's the way to do it. Get it done early. Like over it. Get it done even so, sooner hold on, hold on. than I just want to, I've been getting better in some things. Like doing your supplements, for example, I used to push push that off like a lot before, but now I'm getting a little bit more, a little bit better. So, Midge, you may continue. The way I will commit to working out, I think, so today, Wednesday, is a day that we usually go to the gym. And today, Mommy's decided to stay home with me. And she said, if you do this full workout entirely, like 100%, not even 0.1% off, then I'll stay with you on Wednesday so you can work out. So I think that gives me like an easier an easier schedule so I can actually work out on Wednesdays, but then on Mondays we go. So I think staying home on Wednesdays would so get me a better So it's an extra day. I'll give you one more day of solid But training. usually on Mondays... What about the other days that we're all home and working out together? Those days I will work all right. I like it. I like it. Don't forget, you're live here. This is a contract. A contract. And the I way know. contracts get broken but out here is for Mondays, death. after we get home from the gym, we usually roughly get home at the same times. On Mondays, we don't have meetings, and we don't record BTC on Mondays. So Mondays, after, yes, we do have meetings. Well, we do, but not the three of us right after we get home from the gym. So usually on Mondays, I have that time to go and work out, even after we get home from the gym around lunchtime, 12. All right, so give me another example of your discipline, Mitch. What else you got? Anything else? Do you have any other stories? I thought you said you had another story before. Or did you say it? No. You said you tell it in a story. No, I said I had No, I was, she's talking about something. She said, can I tell it in a story? I thought you had something else. Oh, no, how she needs a, to get A discipline. story of how I didn't have discipline. I know, but didn't you have a, you don't have a story? I, thought, oh, I just thought you had something you wanted to still add. All right, Tyson, any other any other story of discipline? A quick yes, one? Yes, I have two Fairly quick. A quick ones. one. We'll right, just get one. one of them. Pick one. All right. Preferably okay. one that involves poop. Uh, this is the poop episode. Uh, I don't have anything the, like the, that. The thumbnail for this episode is going to have like the be... emoji of the pile of crap. No, no, no. Let's let's make it re- like put a real picture. <laughs> the emoji hey, oh, is God. like. Some people think, oh, the poop emoji, so cute. I forget who it was. They tried to say they didn't know that was the the poop emoji and it's said he would like. Cream. He said he thought it was a Hershey's kiss, and since his daughter like I forget who the hell said it, his daughter likes Hershey kiss. So he'd always send that as an emoji, and then she's like, "You're sending me a pile of shit." And he said, "Oh, I thought it was just joking." He really know. He, oh, he couldn't think it was a Hershey kiss. Come on. All right, <laughs> all right. So, okay. quick story, quick. So, at the, actually at the beginning of this year, January 9th, So the dogs we had we had like this broom. That mommy Midge just got. So we got this like weird like old style broom. And it's outside sitting sitting like right in front of our house. And the dogs chewed it. And I decided to argue that I shouldn't pay for it since I let the dogs out. And I kept arguing. And I ended up getting in trouble for that. Oh, this is bringing back flashbacks. I remember this day. I remember. Oh, we were about to go out into the street and fist fight. I remember the day. 
Yes, the day. The day. So Actually, then January 10th, this was on Saturday. January 10th, Sunday comes around and we're having our weekly meeting. And you have the brilliant idea to start the daily discipline challenge. Because I am a... Cool dad. Oh, I wasn't going to say that. I was going to say just rational male. Man. And you utilize stuff very we- well. Utilize and weaponize it. So we took a bad situation and said, all right, let's turn this into something different. So we created the daily discipline challenge where you had a habit challenge. We had these different habits you had to do every day. That's and if you did it. That's the story where I didn't have discipline. Uh, what were you going to get? What were you going to get if you finished that challenge? Chicken. Chickens. Chickens. And what were you going to get if you finished the challenge? Snake. And I did finish the challenge. And did you get the snake? Fast forward 21 days, I finished the challenge. Finished the challenge. Snake got imported. A, a box snake, comes in. The snake. Overnight yeah. shipping from Florida. Did you from, know that the snake actually came in 20 days after the challenge? It came at, it came like February 20th or something. Well, because by the time we ordered it and got the right kind that we wanted to get and whatever else. No, no, no. It's Florida. It's Florida, not Florida. Florida. It's Florida. Florida? I was That's planning, a floor right I was, there. I was planning on getting just like a $50 Fit, like fit, like a regular just ball python for fifty dollars, and let's say I got a little bit carried away with the yeah. snake price. So, and then they send it in from from Florida, and it's just in a Trump. box that just says live animal. And then inside there's a bag with some heating pad thing and a yeah, bag and tied in. And you snake. open up the bag, it's just a snake just looking up at you like that, like pss, with the venom and all this. And what's his name? Her. Venom. I, and we believe it's a you don't even know if it's, it's a, a hurt. boy or a girl yet so you got that out of discipline challenge all right you know one that i just came up with that i've added just today hmm. to my thought that i forgot about it just doesn't have doesn't have crap involved but it almost has crap involved from crapping your crap in your pants recently at the airport i was at an airport in new york city coming home back to california all of us. i want to leave coming back to the airport and let's just say we were in New York and we were doing some training exercises, some self-defense training, some weapons training. We travel around and we do lots of different cool events and stuff. So we happen to doing some some training. And it seems that someone had a carry-on bag. <laughs> not saying names. This is a time we're definitely not saying names because we're not in these snitches end up in ditches. We're someone had a carry-on names, bag. Right? That happened to not only have something that can't go in the airport, airport, it can't go in your carry-on bag, it can't even go in, in your check-in bag, it can't even go on you at all, except when you're training. And this thing was brought in a carry-on bag, going through the metal detector, and the guy, and we're not going to talk about the details of everything, whatever, and... Let's just say, luckily, that the NYPD and the Port Authority Police in New York, New Jersey, are freaking awesome dudes because... And did you see how that was handled? I took full responsibility for it. It was from a a training thing. We accidentally left in one of the bags. And I was ready. They were ready to take me to jail. You know, I've been to jail once before from an airport from a pocket knife. They arrested Mm -hmm. me, handcuffed me, missed my flight. The very first time. Sergeant was mean. The first time I was supposed to get a first class class. flight. That's got to suck. Going to an event in California where we lived in New York. That's got to suck. Missed the flight, got arrested. They handcuffed me, brought me home over a little pocket knife that I left in the thing. And this time was much worse than that. Luckily, it didn't turn out that way, but I was already ready to go to jail. I was ready to figure that was happening. I'm going to get arrested. And we had to stay calm. And to me, that's discipline. That's when you really show discipline in the world, like staying calm. Matt, imagine if I was like arguing with the cops. You know, it's not mine. Oh, you guys are just out to get me and this and that arguing. I don't know how I got like whatever. Just staying calm, explaining the situation, being professional, being friendly, polite. That's discipline. And look what it does. It Discipline. What did Jaco say? Discipline equals freedom. It literally... It literally led to freedom because I was going. That has to be the hook. I was going to freaking jail. That has to be hook. But then it just sounds like you're just biting off of something off of of Jocko. But yeah, I was literally going to jail in front of my kids. I was literally going to jail in front of my kids. That's in front of my kids. I was going to record it for a short. It would have been good, but then it looks like if they didn't see, if they would have saw that. No, if the cops are saying like, what are you doing here? All right, you're just coming with like. They you're were, just coming with us. Yeah, you're just coming with us. But they were they were cool by that. So to me, that was the another part of discipline. There's tons of I can give tons of different stories, but I've told some on my own podcast and go listen to those episodes. You want to hear some more of those personal 
stories. Some may involve shit. Some may not involve shit. Hopefully they do. I mean. All right. Let's wrap up. Let's wrap up with this last thing real quick. What's a superpower? If either of you could think of one, it's kind of a hard, weird question, but I would like to ask this question about stuff like we, things that discipline means a lot to us. This is our foundation. What is a superpower that your discipline has led you to have or that you've gained from this discipline? I'll go first. So for me, it's like, it's reading. So I, when I was younger, when I was little, I did not like reading. And as I as I kept doing it, as I was like consistently reading, I grew to like it because I was disciplined to keep doing it even though I didn't want to, and now I like it. And that's like- You that same attitude with working out. Look at that, and bam, same exactly. thing. And look, now we We're, do homeschooling. Uh, I know we don't call homeschooling, but for here we do, so people know yes, what we're talking homeschooling. about. homeschooling. So now we do homeschooling, reading, on your own, a lot of times is a huge part of homeschooling. Like reading is huge. Reading books. We're like, a, I'm addicted to reading. So now that you need to do that, as it's like a, it's like a bridge. It's a superpower. It's that's it, so it makes you happy that you get to read. Like that's your part of your schooling days. You get to just pick any book you want on whatever kind of topics and categories you want, and you get to go read and dive into it. Like that's a and, superpower to enjoy. You're basically enjoying school like it's not if you call that and actually speaking of books after this series the next episode is going to be actually about books so i'm just quick heads up all right what's your superpower my superpower spoiler alert my superpower i believe that all discipline like its foundation can be from working out and that's how i got discipline in almost Every single other area of my life, emotionally, mentally, physically, faithful, faithfully, because I started working out once I could walk. And just since then, it's just been like just the foundation and then everything just kind of built on from that. So that's just working out kind of has made it my superpower. Just working out for years and years has just led to discipline and almost and like it's suffering. I didn't even say it, but it's almost not suffering. But like, as you were a kid, you were brought into a gym from the day you were born. At mid, you were like, didn't really want to read, and you were thought you were forced to read. It's like you hated having to do it. It's almost like taking that thing that you didn't like, that suffering, and learning how to flip the switch on it and turn it into a superpower. That's kind of what you're both. That's why suffering is good. That's why doing hard things. And that was one of those previous episodes we just had, like two episodes why ago. Kids I think if why you kids haven't suffer. If you, if you haven't watched it, go back and watch it. No, we did not torture kids. We just told them to suffer. And so that's like one of mine. There's As a difference. kid, I was like, this conversation we're having is a longer conversation than in, that I ever had in my entire life with my father. This conversation right here, actually longer than any because there was no conversation. So us hanging out and going to play in a little bit or whatever we're going to go do is more time of hanging out than I did with my father. So when I was a kid, I was just a ghost, just alone in my room for hours and hours at a time doing nothing by myself. Actually, speaking of that, I think I have that same like genetic from you because I am totally fine being alone because sometimes just being alone is just like... Most people can't handle that. Unofficial for yourself. Most people can't handle that. I can tell. That's like a superpower of mine. So like when you guys are going to to Poland for like a couple weeks, coming up in a couple of weeks, I'm... Of course, I'll miss you guys, and I like it better when you're here, but knowing that you're going there, I know I have this superpower that I'll be able to dive so deep into like work and reading and my own personal development, my own workout. Like I don't have to worry about anything. I could be alone in a hotel room and start a freaking business from scratch being alone rather than going out and having to go to dinners and drink and alcohol and all this other crap that people do. Like That turned into a superpower. So luckily, thank God I was neglected and left alone as a kid because it allows me to function as an adult with a superpower of, of being able to I actually have a question for you. So since you were a kid and your parents didn't really pay attention to you. My mother did. My daughter didn't talk about my, my father. My mother did. Oh, oh. Well, did you, did you, did why did you go to school if they didn't really care about what you did? That's what you did. Everyone went. And I didn't. Once I got older, once I got a license, I was dipping out of school every day. Are you kidding I had a 1988, 1988 Ford Mustang the last couple of years of high school. I was never there. Is that the one that you totaled? Or? Yeah, I was dip. If I had a way out of getting out of school, like, you're, is a prison. You couldn't, like, there was no way out of it. 
like the homeschooling it probably existed but there was who's gonna homeschool me like the like Amish people probably do homeschool. That's what you thought of back then. Who? What kind um, of people? Amish. They don't have like oh, electricity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a city. There's a town. You can go in, and go in their towns in Pennsylvania. I did it like years and years ago when I was like a teenager. Went there and just to see it. It's like all dirt roads. They have horses and buggies still and no electricity, just fire burning stoves, no heat, electricity in their house. They live like that. There's still whole communities like that. Yeah, I don't know how much it is now. That was like t- over 20 something years ago, but yeah, I'm pretty sure they're still there. Wow. All right, so discipline Wait, equals freedom. Up. Discipline equals shopping. Discipline literally equals freedom, keeping you out of jail. It is our foundation. Like discipline is the foundation of the freak, foundation of everything we do. It leads to all the success we have. It leads to the fun we have. And it leads to the shit that we buy because we have the, the discipline leads to the money and the shopping somehow. But Okay, so you know how after the 70 things your kids want to know about you series, we said we'd be doing the question of the week. We haven't done one since, so can we please do one, one right before we wrap up? If we were not late, late, late into this show. Also, also, can we do one quick joke before we sign off here and we are finished? All right, you can do it while I'm dipping out and going to set uh, Wait, the but then they can't hear you. All right, go. What do we got? Quick. All right, all right. What has keys but can't open locks? What has keys? Keys. Ski. Skis. Skis? Keys? Car keys. Can't open locks. Keys. Zero. Bar keys. Bar keys. Give me a hint. I feel like I can do this. I'm just not. I- I'm pretty sure clicking. you can. Give me a hint. Tyson loves it. Okay. I don't say loves it, but I've done it before. Many times. And he never learns anything. More. <laughs> I do. I learned a lot. Y- you learned a lot, but you don't learn anymore. Play piano. Ding, 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 piano. Piano. I get a half a point. Half a point. I, so One a and a half out of three. Ah, 50%. 50%. Okay, so can we All right, what's your quick please? question? Go your quick question. What did you have as a child? What did you have as a kid that kids today don't have? Fun. Just kidding. Jeez, that was harsh. Yeah, that's fun. what say the question again. What? what did you have as a kid that kids today don't? So something I had that kids don't have now. Surprise probably freedom. Like more freedom. Like I would wander off into the woods by myself. I've take, always wanted to do take that. a bike and just go wherever I want to go. You call it freedom or just no one paying attention to you, but we'd go there'd be kids going off on their own. All over the place. I don't know if it was there was less sickos and freaks out there or whatever, and less white vans, or it's just the internet created I, it or I caused think, it. I don't know how I said that, like the how the internet really did it and stuff. But I think that it just more people just became wackos because the the kidnapping industry and the child trafficking industry is bigger than the drug industry today. That's nuts. That's crazy. So yeah, probably freedom because actually have have that other kids have like physically have nothing, but it was freedom. Like kids in general could just go. We would just go do whatever we wanted to do. There wasn't any like video game or anything that was around back then that today we don't have. I bet you probably stealing back then was probably way easier too. Oh, I was good at that. Yeah, because there's no cameras, no inter- there was bare- there were cameras that were so crappy and they could they couldn't see certain areas, but. I would say just the freedom, just to go wander off on your own kids. I was, I don't even know how young, just by myself, like miles from home, like on a bike. Sometimes, not usually on, usually on a bike, but just miles sometimes. Did you ever sleep away from home because you're so far away? No. Like the Sheridan Hotel that from by my mother's uh-huh. house. We would take, I would take bikes there and go play in that elevator. That's pretty far on a bike. <laughs> yeah, it's like a mile and a half. We went there once, on, that's in car a mile and a half, but. You can't go on the highways and all this other. Find it. We went on foot one time through the woods along the riverbed to get find that place. We never knew what that was. It looked like it was like a spaceship. It's such a weird, awkward shaped building. It looks like nothing else in the area. But probably I say that the freedom probably because they were either less freaks or whatever. But yeah, and you didn't hear about like kids didn't get. You didn't hear about kidnappings. If you did, it was like a rare like oh my god. Someone now it's like you know, all the time shit like that happens. But that's probably. It was the one thing I'd say I had. One time, in we were on a trip in Texas. We were at a hotel, and every day, like almost twice every single day that we were at that hotel, once or twice every Those single Amber day. Amber Alerts, right? Yeah. Yeah, saying someone kidnapped. All right, 
Different this has been an episode of Discipline, another episode of Breaking the this Cycle, is- the first part of decaf. Take them home. Yes, th- this is the first episode of the decaf series. So make sure you smash the that subscribe, subscribe button, click the, the notifications bell so you never miss out on any videos. videos. And if Ma- you like this episode, it, which cl- you definitely did, click the like button. Click the like button, comment, share, follow, just do all that. And we'll see you in the next episode on part two of the decaf series. No excuses. No excuses. So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give up. You know I'm gonna take, take, taking that crown from you. I ain't worried about your, I ain't never So let me break, break, break it all down for you. I ain't never give it up, I ain't never give up. You know I'm gonna take, 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 taking that crown from you.